And I was like, yeah. Mm. Actually, that's how you must think as an entrepreneur. Mm. You must look at your hood and check, like, where's the gap, mm. you know? And I saw that gap and I was like, you know what? I'm going inside this one. Yeah, okay. I'm going inside full time. Mm. People see what you're doing, yeah. you know? Mm. As much as people question my sexuality and all of that, by the way, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight, straight as a ruler, you know? Yeah, so now people are on some, yo, dog, this nigga's gay and all of that. Yeah, I hear that trending a lot, and I'm like, Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, guys, I'm not alone. I'm with my boy, Miss Sigma Lady. Yes, sir. So, yeah, guys, we're here just to encourage, educate, motivate, entertain. You understand? So, what up? My boy? Yeah, yeah. What you say? Ah, nothing much. Though. Easy, easy. So, yeah, man. Oh, so, guys, I know some of you, you might not know Mr. Sigma. So, I'll just give you maybe. 30 seconds just to introduce himself. 30 seconds is a lot, bro. My name is Lissedi. <laughs> yeah. My name is Lissedi and that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it, no, bro. Man, stop lying. What more do you want to have? Who are you, man? My name is Lissedi, bro. Yeah. I I'm the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the light, bro. Okay. I'm the light, literally, bro. That's ah. all I can say. Like, there's nothing much to say, you know? Because yeah. if I were to say a lot, bro, you know, I'd cover a lot, even. But for now, let me just say, my name is Lucedi, yeah. and I was born and bred in Tembisa, Winnie Mandela. Yeah. That's it. How how it was to, to be born and raised in Winnie Mandela, not Tembisa, because I know people, in the hood. other people yeah, in the hood, don't understand. Because yeah. Tembisa is big, but we need something else. We need different, bro. Yeah, people yeah. look down on Winnie, yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? And for me, it's a thing of stars are born here, bro. Yeah. As much as people can look down on Winnie Mandela, bro, like, a lot of potential is here, you feel me? Yeah, that's true. A lot of potential, bro. So many niggas are doing so well right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can say. Okay. How was it back then? It was tough, bro. Yeah. It was tough, man. Like, um, waking up with no hope, you know? Yeah. No one to look up to, yeah. you know? Yeah. There's always crime in the hood. There's always something happening in the hood, you feel me? Mm. Especially here, bro. Like it's tough. <laughs> you wake up, you wanna go to school. There's something happening in the morning. Yeah. You come back from yeah. school. There's something happening. Yeah. You know, every single time, bro. How do you manage to overcome those challenges? Honestly, you just mise, bro. Yeah. You just mise and you keep your life going. Yeah. That's it. Because the only person that has your back is you. You yeah. feel me? No one can have your back like that. I can see now you're starting to try to <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> a little bit don't understand. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to know, Rim. I know that you're an event organizer. Yeah. Stylist. Yeah. I'm a stylist. Uh, and like you're doing a lot of things, though. I do a lot of things, bro. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Because you know when you're doing something alone, bro, it's, mm. like it's hard. Mm. It's hard even like when you don't have the right people around you. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what made you to fall in love with the streets? Because everything that you are doing, dog, streets, is, is, it's like streetwise in a way, like KFC, you understand? Sure. Yeah, yeah. For me, streets, nah. Mm. Um, let me say, the only thing that kept me going is passion, bro. Yeah. yeah. As much as there's money there, obviously, everything that you're doing is for money. Even you sitting here, obviously. Something is coming in, you feel yeah, me? In the future, not now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's still zero, zero. Yeah. yeah. But at least, bro, even if like it's 100 rand, it's something. It's unlike you, Chile. You yeah, feel yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's that 10 rand. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. Okay. That's what like keeps me going and, you know, that's what I like. That's why I fell in love with the streets. Mm. As much as like, you know, there's more to do, but like mm. the street life is for me. Mm. And like, Someone might ask for it. And like, what are you doing right now? And like, I just live, bro. No, take it down. <laughs> you cannot say here. I just need to understand. Don't be scared to share the information that you have. I live. Yeah. I live full time. Full time, I'm in the streets. Yeah. What Always do you hustling. Do in the street? 
hustling how I wanna know how because someone might say think or maybe when you are saying or you are hustling maybe you are break you are doing house breaking oh no 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 yeah. nothing illegal bro yeah everything but, I do is legal yeah. straight you feel me yeah everything I do is straight okay. you feel me let me start to ask you man what made you to to start event to like to be the create the 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 creator of event yeah, it costs, you know. So it gave, bro. Yeah. Mokka said in. Yeah. I didn't say it all. Mm. Every Saturday, you'd, you'd hear niggas like, yo, dog, you didn't suffer. Mm. But like, you won't know. You'd always want to go to like other places. I won't mention them because now it's like I'm bashing them, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, you want to go far from yeah. the hood. Yeah. So I saw that's the, the, the gap. And I was like, you know, let me just fill it up. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Mm. Actually, that's how you must think as an entrepreneur. Mm. You must look at your hood and check, like, where's the gap, mm. you know? And I saw that gap, and I was like, you know what? I'm going inside this one. Yeah, okay. I'm going inside, full okay. time. I want to know, because <laughs> someone might try to do the same thing that you're doing right now. Yeah. I understand. Uh, did, you, did you have maybe a revenue to start with? Uh, firstly, ne? Yeah. Revenue, ne? Mm. Zaga. Yeah, Zaga. Zaga was not there, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember I started I started when 2016, bro. Damn. I remember when I started, I had no entrance fee to the mm. event because I didn't have barricades. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have no setup. Mm. So people would come in for free. And you know, at the end of the day, people would think this nigga is making money. But mm. like I didn't make anything, bro. The only thing, actually the the only money that was coming in mm. was for the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know my family is running a business, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a tavern at my house. If you didn't know, mm. so now I was like, you know what? Let me just make money for the family. Yeah. You know, put myself aside. Mm. Maybe in the long run, I'll have money to like do this thing. Yeah, yeah. Sharp 2016 went by, 2017 hosted a big event, yeah. but no entrance fee or whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. The whole incident happened at my house, got burnt down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, transformer. yeah, the, the transformer exploded yeah. on us. And, <laughs> oh boy, and hey, that night was lit. Mm. Yo, yo, yo. But like, but I like, yeah. I wanna like, I kept on going, bro. Twenty twenty, hosted my first ever big event mm. where there was like entrance mm. and um all of the all of that, mm. and yeah, I wanna do more, bro. I wanna do as, as much as with events, like it's a win or lose. Sometimes you make money, sometimes you don't. Mm. But the moment you start taking your L as a lesson, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's when they start to grow. Yeah, right? that's when you start like growing. Mm. Uh, if I may ask, this mindset of entrepreneurship is the mindset that you had from your parents, or it, it just developed from nowhere, or you uh, them, bro? Like, like I was looking, I was looking up to them, like straight up. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like I'd see how my dad is operating his business, and I'm like, yo, I wanna be like this nigga yeah. when I grow up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like I see my mom working and I'm like, yo, I want to be like this lady, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. I feel like the drive was from my parents, bro. Mm. Like, that's where, like, it started. Because, like, when I learned CL Tavern, when I was still young, yeah, yeah. when CL Tavern, Maria, dog, mm. sell. Yeah, yeah. That time, you have no clue, you have no idea. <laughs> but, oh, all over feet, and they're on some, yo, give us this, give us that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Doc, uh, let's talk about the drip. Cause the drip? All, yeah, you're always tracking source, I understand. You're styling yourself, everything, I understand. So, I want to know the love that you had for fashion, I understand. Who inspired you to to start whatever, and like to start the, 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 the and like taking that, uh, I call it Bram, I understand. Bram the Bram life. Yeah, the Bram life, and bring it to Kokas, I understand. Because at first, I used to, uh, and like view you, your you post on Facebook, I understand. Oh, Sometimes you hear people saying, well, ah, man, this guy, you don't understand his vision, but you kept on going, you understand, sure. and then you didn't give up, you understand. Oh, yeah, you understand. My but love. inspired you to, to get it. Not having money, bro. Yeah. Not having money actually inspired me to like dress up, you know? Because mm. you know, go to thrift and you like, you get a jacket for like 30 bucks, you get like jeans for like 20. Wait, wait. You need to tell me that everything that you used to wear, I understand, you were thrifting it. 
Yeah, bro, I'd, I'd rock an outfit. <laughs> I'd rock an outfit. <laughs> and it's it's not even costing like more than 100 grand, bro. Damn. Yeah, I'll do that. Because now it's a thing of sometimes we do stuff like wanting to fit in. But like, I wanted to be different, bro. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to fit in. I did that life of like trying to fit in and I didn't work out. Because of money, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But I was like, you know what? Let me just like do my own thing. Mm. I started thrifting, and when I started thrifting, it became a culture. Obviously, yeah, yeah. that's a different culture in its own. Like thrif- the thrifting life, it's a different a culture. culture. Yeah. yeah. So I kept on going, kept on going. Obviously, getting inspiration from like Instagram and all of that, mm. and also the guy that I used to look up to and still like looking up to right now is yeah. LSD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bajo, yeah. yeah, that bruise like the one that's like, you know, has been in the scenes for like the longest. Yeah. And I'd look at his post and I like even before like becoming friends with him, I'd look yeah. up to him like, yo, dog, where's this nigga from? You yeah. know, no, not knowing like he's from the hood as well. Yeah. So yeah, like I started like hanging around him, mm. and obviously like I became better. You know, not better than him. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. Better in terms of like my own like style, style and yeah. all of that. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I won't lie, and did you know that most of the things you were thrifting? Yeah, me, I thrift all my pieces, bro. Yeah. Even this, like yeah. thrifted, thrift all of them. It's bro. Nice though, cause yeah. If if really you thrifted back then, even now you're still thrifting, and then yeah, I still thrift. Or Right now, as you're working on it, I won't tell that you have thrifted this. Yeah, thing. yeah. But the only thing I don't thrift is like shoes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I save up for that shit, bro. Like, I, sh- I save up for shoes. Mm. You know, like, I go to like stores for shoes. Yeah. But like, when it comes to like clothes, I don't. Yeah. Also, if yeah. like, you know, rocking up like clothes from retail, mm. you rock up something like this, mm. and when you walk out, you see someone wearing it. Yeah. And that thing is boring, <laughs> but I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it sucks, boy. <laughs> yeah, because you end up feeling like you're treats. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, so now it's not, it's no more like you dressing up uniquely. Mm. No, okay. It's like you're the same. Yeah. yeah. Checking about shoes, I know that yeah. In Instagram, we call them plugs. I understand. Yeah, those I are plugs. Yeah, I don't know that you are a plug or you are a reseller of shoes. Ah, bro, know. that's that's my side hustle, man. Like that's what I do on the side. Okay, don't yeah, I don't want to touch much about <laughs> it. Yeah, just like the other ones that I'm doing, like I don't want to touch more about them, yeah. you know. But like if those are the things that are like you know keeping me going and like mm. um, giving me like some extra boost when it comes to like income and all of that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the other thing uh, that I want to touch more, understand? Oh, yeah. Even one of my friends asked me, you have to ask this, understand? Oh, yeah. Um, you're always trending on Facebook, talk, ane? For the wrong reasons, I don't know why. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you wanted to know how, and like, how do you manage that? Don't understand? Because they always bully you. I won't lie. Don't understand? Too yeah, I always get bullied on social yeah, media. Yeah, man. Don't understand? I feel like, I feel like when, when you become the eighth thing, you know, mm. or when people see potential in you, mm. they wanna bring bring you down, like. Like as much as they want to, you feel me? Yeah. And the moment that you, um, you hear people's opinions about you, mm. you hear what people have to say about you, and all of that, mm. ah, and you take up, you take that to your mind, it's gonna fuck you up, you know. Yeah. And for me, I felt like it was just like a drive, you know. Mm. It was like a push, like yo, dog, do more. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah. People see you. People see what you're doing. Yeah. You know. As much as people question my sexuality and all of that, by the way, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. Straight as a ruler, you know? Yeah. So now people are on some, yo, dog, this nigga's gay and all of that. Yeah, I hear that trending a lot. And I'm like, that won't move me. I feel like the more you talk about me, the more people check me out and check what I do. Yeah, yeah. That's push away. Yeah. And the moment you don't in, even entertain those things, they're like, yo, dog, why is this nigga not even saying anything? Mm. I remember when I was trending on Facebook, I didn't say shit. Mm. I kept quiet. Because, dog, if, if, if it was me, you know, right now, maybe I would maybe commit suicide. Ah, if, bro. If it was me. Because 
<laughs> talk I won't lie kena le pelo nya no ngana stay na ne is either I was going to commit suicide sure. or being locked up right now cuz what like shit le mo to to le cuz it na le pelo nya too much no ngana stay so pick up to there yeah no lie but yeah. those things did did feel like no you know yeah, yeah, yeah. like locking up myself mm-hmm. not seeing people mm-hmm. committing suicide now nah. yeah, yeah, yeah i've yeah, never yeah, i've yeah, never yeah, yeah, feeling depressed in a way at the end of the day or yeah i just felt like people didn't appreciate me for who i am mm. they just wanted to like um you know take those opinions on some yo dog this nigga is really like this yeah, yeah. but for me i'm like nah mm. be up to the dog yeah. being strong understand or not give up being in life because if it was me i'm not talking about someone else yeah Okay, okay, let me let me ask you what is what is the biggest the biggest um thing that ever came up like biggest opinion from people that came up about you I don't know I don't know because oh, I don't know. focus on me that's why Exactly <laughs> you understand exactly. even when someone says hey talk uh I heard this about you I said ah just leave it don't understand because I don't focus on it too much because I'm afraid that my like, well, my thing is bro like the moment you start mising what the public is saying bro you want to keep on going okay. but the moment you start taking those opinions up into your head it's going to fuck you up like big time you feel me it's like um let's say you okay, right now I'm selling iPhones man yeah. and i hear rumor like from someone saying ah oh, then you're selling fake iPhones and not what mm. obviously bro i'm going to go up to that nigga and like start causing scenes and all of those things yeah. That's why like the moment I hear an opinion about me yeah. I might it. That's great. Mm-hmm. Uh while you are talking about uh, iPhone so now I want to know already what made you to take a different path on understand say sure. like, instead of me opening a brand or uh yeah yeah take yeah selling stuff because a lot of niggas they will tell you that I'm gonna I'm a hustler like me on my side I'm selling clothes on understand by the they took a different route like maybe I don't want to sell clothes like going to China come back with them and that's great that just let me start to take from the beginning on understand in order to make yeah bro because I see age. I see a lot of people that are owning brands they do that mm-hmm. and I get hit ups from brands Mm. on some hey can you please model for us hey we're gonna give yeah, you a match yeah. and i tell them straight like if you guys don't start your own thing, thing yeah, i yeah. won't rock it because yeah. now it's like you're taking something that's like plain and you're just printing it yeah, yeah, yeah. how many brands are doing that there a lot, there's bro. a lot bro yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like we're wearing the same thing yeah, but like one. different name yeah, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, you were the first person who told me that guys you need to change the way you do. Things. Yeah, I once I once came up to you. I yeah, was like, yeah, "Yo, bro, yeah. like don't even buy in print." Yeah. Yeah. Do something different. Yeah, something that I've never seen. seen. Yeah. We took that advice and started to implement. Sure, right sure. now we keep even though our business is not leaking, but we hope that when time goes on, people just start to understand. The yeah, way. consistency bro is yeah. key, no lie. Uh, yeah. we were talking about iPhones. Okay with iPhones ne? Yeah. I started selling iPhones when COVID started. Yeah. I wanted money. Yeah. No like obviously <laughs> like <laughs> hey when COVID ni ndibu wo. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Money. <laughs> yeah, money bro. <laughs> yeah. Zaga jo, zaga. So hey COVID it home da. Oh bro. The only income that I was getting was from Nesfas. Yeah. And yeah. at that time we were home. Obviously when I'm home I'm bored. Mm. So I was like what can I do? Yeah. So I bought I bought an iPhone from this other nigga. So this nigga gave me a, a bypassed iPhone. So meaning I couldn't update software, I couldn't reset the phone. Yeah. yeah. And that phone was LC only it had so many issues. Yeah. So I sold it. Mm. The moment I sold that phone I'm like bro I must I can make money from this because you used to sell what alcohol back then sure sure and i was like bro i can make money from this yeah ah i went did my research found a plug you know Mm. my first plug my first ever plug Mm. started selling started selling and i was like no i'd get a customer like once in a month Mm. not like like right now right now the level is different yeah yeah, i can get like a customer right now when i'm chilling here yeah you know so that actually pushed me to like do more because now people 
when people see you being consistent in what you're doing, mm. like job at money. Even if like they don't <laughs> like your stuff, yeah, your yeah. posts, or but even comments, watching, but they are watching. That's what I love about e-commerce. They are watching, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. people are watching. Like they're like, yo. Mm. That's why sometimes when I post their phone, I'm like, yo, I'm selling this phone, and this mm. phone. Mm. You don't see them commenting there. Yeah. They yeah. wanna hit me up in the yeah. DMs, DMs, like, yo, yeah. bro, I need this, I need that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know. Mm. And if I were to post my life, like what I do every day, mm. you see that I do a lot. Yeah. But I prefer not to. I just post whatever I'm selling. Mm, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Your mindset. Eh? Also for safety reasons, bro, because yeah, now yeah, people yeah. are gonna be on somewhere. This nigga is making money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wanna know maybe you said you started to sell iPhones in 2019, right? 2020. 2020. Yeah, because co- of COVID. Okay. Yeah. During 2021, how much you were you making back then? I, I wanna ask about current things, because <laughs> both, but back then, how much you used to make? 2021. Yeah. Ah, dog, I used to make less, mm-hmm. like 3k in a month. 3k in a month. Minimum. You see, you said it's less. Minimum. Someone is working hard for that, dog. I used to <laughs> make like 3k in yeah, a month. in a month. Don't but now, yeah. it's different. It's different. It's, it's all about consistent and believing in whatever you're doing. Honestly. Consistency and also like making sure that you're giving your clients the right stuff, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. 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 So, for me, it's like quality over quantity. Yeah. You know, as much as like I can say, a phone is this price and this price. Mm. It should be worth that price. Mm. You know, I can't give you a phone that's worth less that price. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now I get it. Yeah. But be up to you, doctor. Shut up. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Because I never heard someone say commenting on your post saying, oh, ah, this guy scammed me. You understand? No, nah, I've never this scammed anyone. Me, this and this. Just like other guys. Understand? Yeah. So. I'm grateful for that, even though they, like, some people they will just hate on you for, for no reason, reason, bro. Yeah, but me, as I know you, I know that, yeah, I, I yeah, bro. Like, if you know with me, yeah, yeah. I can scam anyone, bro, yeah, but I choose not to, yeah, because that thing can like uh mess up your name, mm. you know. And the moment you start messing up your name, it's hard to gain loyalty again. Yeah, yeah. Loyalty is hard earned, bro. You don't just Gain loyalty mm. overnight. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, before because we're reaching the end of the video, uh, what advice can you give someone who's feeling you stay cheap? Hey, bro, be you. Do it for you. Do it for yourself. Yeah. Make sure that you become the better that you are. Yeah. Make sure that you're pushing. Like, minus all the negativity. Mm. Make sure that you always push him, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know. And also, like, make sure that you give back to your people. Yeah. Don't forget your people, bro. Yeah. As much as, like, you're doing good in life, mm-hmm. don't forget where you're coming from. Yeah. That's powerful. Also, like, respect. Yeah. Respect plays a huge role, bro. Make sure that you respect. Also, trust God yeah. in everything that you're doing. That's powerful. I uh, love that you're listening. In closing, uh, I'm going to send this video. I understand this part in 10 is coming. No stress, bro. Yeah. So what I would like you to do, you know, can you tell me the 50 year old this lady there, I don't understand. Uh, what sacrifices that you did in order for him to enjoy this life? I don't understand. Can I fucking you... dropped out to be to be where I am right now. I fucking dropped out of uni to be where I am right now. Mm. And I'm doing good. Mm. You know? I'm proud of you. Keep on pushing. Even 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 when you're at your fifties, bro, keep on pushing, keep on doing better and better. Mm-hmm. Even your grand grandchildren, <laughs> what can you say to them right now? Tell Frostan. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, can you please like, comment below? If you need part two, you can go to part two. There's a lot that you can share with him. Not that's right a now, lot, bro. Just touching there and there and there because of time and whatever. So, without wasting any. Hey, 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 just there, boy. No. Okay, without wasting any. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Okay, uh, back to... Uh, he was closing. Uh, let's start it from the 
What advice can you tell your fifty year old you? I understand right now. The sacrifices that you did in order for him to enjoy this life. Yeah, bro. Like uh, I literally like dropped out of uni mm-hmm. to be where I am right now, mm-hmm. and all I can say is I'm proud of you for choosing you over the standards of the society that you need a qualification to do this and that and i'm really proud of where you are and what you're doing keep on pushing even when you're in your 50s keep on pushing keep on doing better and better in life yeah. uh joe all i can say is galafrostana yeah. that's all i can say yeah. love you big time i'm going to send you this clip in chain is coming and no even space. though i know that you own me in 50s or anything maybe I'm going to show your children this thing oh, like yeah. this. i'm going to oh, yeah. um, come uh, come it's a kai it for you or anything no stress bro thank yeah. you very much yeah oh, so guys we have reached the end of the video i hope i hope that you have enjoyed this part don't forget to like comment it i'm going to impart you just comment below comment below like subscribe 1k guys i'll feel this episode to go to 1k subscriber hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. now we're gonna push it bro we're gonna push it yeah, hard yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So, guys don't forget to push forward uh share do whatever you want to do with it but just know that you are here everything podcast human data and yo we forgot to give uh our sponsors the plug don't forget that you're shooting at mandava studio if you like to shoot in the studio can, you can email very us. fresh very fresh studio. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can email us at mataba.media at gmail.com so i'm going to just to put the banner here even while the video is playing i'm going to create a banner also just for you to know i love you you are out you are out quick <laughs> oh damn Okay, Pelas, yeah.